Yeah. Happy Ides of March, Monday. <laughs> Hi, Rue. Rude. Get this. My my public high school. Well, first of all, we had a Latin club. And uh, every year, the Latin club celebrated the Ides of March by reenacting the murder outside the principal's office. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> I don't think a lot of schools could get away with that today for some reason. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I got to go back to... That awesome Smithereen song yesterday and give credit to Maria Vidal for the awesome backing vocals at the end of the record there. Um, if you don't know her, go look up her on uh, Wikipedia. There's some uh, pretty amazing musical history there. And uh, Ed Stasium producing that record. Who's he? Oh, go check out your Ramones record and your Living Color record. and. <laughs> band named the Rolling Stones, I believe. <laughs> oh, Smithereens. It's just, it's just the Beatles meet ACDC, right? I think that's kind of, I think that's kind of the sweet spot for me. Yeah, yeah. And uh, here's a, uh, here's a dirty little secret for y'all. The, the, the guitar noodling at the end of that track, um, Basically, what you do is you hit record and you let the guitar player sit down and just noodle throughout the whole song. <laughs> you might get 10 usable seconds towards the end. <laughs> I mean, if you ain't already made your point in the solo or somewhere in the body of the song as it's slip sliding away, uh, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> No, we don't want to hear 90 seconds of you at the end doing your heroics off into the sunset. I know because I did that already in my record. And nobody bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play this song from this Gamma record. Man, I love the sequence of album covers with those guys. It was reminds me of those great uh, Roger Dean and Stanley Mouse sequences especially those journey records uh, late early 80s um yeah we had the we had that first montrose record in the house and man that that was a rocker um but i was just reading up on ronnie montrose's life and tragic death man it's it's pretty sad he was suffering from prostate cancer and he took his own life and was battling chronic depression you know, all, all along, and uh, man, that's rough, that's rough, amazing guitar player, yeah, yeah, um, I just dig this song, it was a kind of a, kind of a minor AOR radio hit in, uh, what was it, 80, 81, around there, yeah, yeah, I just love the singer and the melody, and you know, it's not too, I don't know, just a good, catchy tune i've been wanting to play it for a while so i think i'm gonna do that today yeah yeah all right everybody watch your back did he get stabbed in the i can't remember <laughs> i can go brush up on my latin history <laughs> everybody be great <laughs> okay i forgot the birthdays <laughs> I was, like, I was about to go play some drums. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jeff Benj. Ninja guitar maker, repair person in Chicago. Man, I talked last year about how he uh, salvaged a couple of my acoustic guitars that I've been playing here regularly. Yeah, happy birthday, Jeff. And uh, happy birthday to Ben Hollis. Woo! Wild Chicago uh Original host, show creator, man, I, I, I watched that stuff religiously. And uh, <laughs> when I was living in Uptown, I'd bump into Ben uh, every now and then in the neighborhood. Super friendly, great guy. And uh, 
Yeah, both of you guys stay safe and uh, health and happiness. And yeah, let's go rock. But they don't know 